Welcome everyone, let's insert a SIM card into our Samsung Galaxy Z Fold device. So if you're wondering about dual SIM, I recommend you Google does Samsung Galaxy and then your Z Fold version support dual SIM and then in your country. So in the UK, dual SIM is compatible with the Z Fold devices. That means two physical SIM cards, okay? And you can also insert a eSIM if you would like to as well. Uh, in other countries, this may not be available. So in order to insert a SIM card, first of all, you will need a SIM ejector tool. So this SIM ejector tool should be inside of your Samsung Z Fold box. So open up the box and you should be able to see this in like a paper area. You need to open it up. Uh, the SIM ejector tool may not look the exact same, but you just want to find this thin end here. That means that is the SIM ejector tool. If you don't have a SIM ejector tool, then you can use one from another device. Let's say this one here from my old iPhone. You can also use a pin. You can also use a paper clip and bend it out. So the next step is finding where the actual SIM card tray is located. So what you're looking for is this outline, okay, and a hole, looks like that. There are other holes on the Z Fold device, but those are not for the SIM card, okay? So you wanna find the outline and the hole. So on this older Z Fold, you can see the same deal here, outline and a hole, all right? Once you have found it, depending on the Z Fold, again, the location may be slightly different. You're just going to get the thin end of the SIM ejector, place it in the hole, and then you're gonna push down, push down, push down with a lot of force, push, until you feel a little like feedback, and you can see the SIM uh, card tray has been slightly ejected. So from here, you're gonna get your nails, just pull all the way out, and what Samsung have done is the top part is easier to pull out than the bottom part, okay? So if your nails aren't great, then you'll be all right. So if you have dual SIM, you'll see SIM 2, and of course I'm going <laughs> to drop the tray, but you'll see SIM 2, and you will also see here SIM 1, okay, so SIM 1, SIM 2. So what you do for both sides is you find your SIM card itself, and make sure this, uh, this, this groove here needs to match the SIM card tray, so bottom right on the SIM card, bottom right on the SIM card tray, and you just place SIM card in flushly and it should fit flush if it didn't everything correctly. Then you do the same for SIM 2. Do keep in mind the SIM card will easily fall out SIM 1 so the best tip is if you do have dual SIM we place the SIM card back in. You just want to rest one finger on SIM 1 while you flip over for SIM 2 so that's the SIM 1 won't fall out. Once you've done that you're going to find the hole and make sure the hole is facing the same way as the actual hole in the uh, uh, device itself. Once you're ready, just push the actual SIM card tray in, push, and keep on pushing until everything is flush. And once you have inserted the SIM card, you should see service. So for me, I have nothing for now. Uh, I don't know if the SIM card actually works or not, but if it does work, you'll see service. Uh, there we go, you see the signal strength right there. And if we go to settings, connections, SIM card manager, you can see my SIM card right here, SIM 1 and SIM 2 as well. If you need eSIM, you see add mobile plan, tap on that and then follow the on-screen instructions. So with that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye bye.